everybody. This is Guy with Survive. Hope you're all having a great Monday morning. Uh, so for this morning, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we've been doing a lot of updates on the Blanchard grinder. People are really excited, but a lot of you don't know what this actually does. So we're just going to just dive into that for a second here this morning and just explain briefly what this does and why it's important. Um, in short, it grinds blades. Uh, let's explain that. So just looking at parts that I'm grinding right now, uh, this is taking us from this surface and this thickness. Uh, this is right out of the sheet and then perimeter machined. Now what we want to do is get this down to the desired thickness, get this part flat, get the surfaces parallel, and uh, get it nice and smooth for bevel grinding. So there we go. Now how's it do that? Loaded in this machine is a giant wheel like this. Uh, in the instance of our grinder, we have a 20 inch by one and a half inch wall non-segmented grinding wheel. Uh, this works out really good for blades, not having uh, what are called stone segments or grinding wheel segments because we have continuous contact with the parts. There's no leading and trailing edges uh, that can affect finish. The non-segmented, or the segmented wheels are really good for uh, hogging and getting a lot of material off, but they don't produce as nice of a finish as a non-segmented donut here. Uh, so what goes on here is we are going to magnetize the surface and pull these parts down flat and put this table under the grinding wheel. So what's going to happen here is These go under here, and we're going to turn on the chuck, just to show you how this runs. So this will spin around here, and then the wheel, we're going to go ahead and shut this over, is going to counter rotate. These two surfaces are parallel, and this wheel is driven by a 50 horsepower motor that's within this casting. And what we do here is walk this wheel down onto these parts to put them under pressure to grind them down to thickness. Uh, this is done in two operations. We do the first side, get everything nice and flat and beautiful, and flip it and bring everything down to thickness. That's how that operates, and uh, I don't know, I guess I'll get back to work here. But so for those that uh, Ellie pointed out to me, all that was getting pretty loud. So we turned this back off real quick to talk about the CDR unit from MP Systems. Uh, we did get several filters to optimize the shop, uh, some for the mill and this one for the grinder. Uh, they're different technologies, just different applications. The reason we chose the CDR unit here is because it's is constantly pulling debris out of the coolant uh, while it's working. So this unit, it's got this over here from this, but what we have here is a three horsepower motor driving all of this, and it's moving 80 gallons a minute. So it's able to turn over this whole wet sump in about a minute and 15 seconds, and it's just continually working, whether I'm grinding or not grinding, to pull particulates out of the coolant. Um, it does have enough agitation to keep any fines and swarf out of the tank. There's nothing in here settling like we used to have. So it keeps me grinding and focusing on working rather than maintaining filters. Uh, what you have going on here for those interested are this uh, three horsepower motor. It's pushing coolant up through this system and through these four hydrocyclones which use centrifuge to spin off the heavy particulates from the coolant, and then it's returned into the wet sump. So it's constantly running. So what we have here is a slurry that then settles into the settling tank here. And at the end of each day, I just rake this out to get the heavy sludge and sediment out of the coolant. So it's just always working. Anyway, uh, now you know. 
Hope you guys are having a great day and uh, we'll keep the updates coming. If you guys have any questions about any other stuff around here, don't ask me about bevel grinding, that's proprietary, but pretty much anything else. Um, if you're just not sure how things work, reach out and uh, we'll just do a short video. Anyway, have a great day and we'll talk to you again soon.